Hey, what's up, people? It's me again with another video. I wanted to share some stuff about Jehovah Witnesses. Um, you see, um, I was talking to one of them, and I mentioned to them um, about Betzerim, and they have no idea what I was talking about. So I was planning this person what Betzerim is. You know, a house in San Diego that one of the leaders from Jehovah Witnesses a long time ago, he uh, convinced all the members to give him money so he could make a house with all that money. So he, so they, I mean, so he, he or them could make a house for Abraham, Abraham, Jacob, and um, David, and and all the all the patriarchs. In the or the Bible, that he's gonna make them a house, so because they're gonna come back to life, the resurrection of Jesus and everything else, right? So they're gonna come back to life, and so he's gonna he wants he wants to have a house ready for them, so they could live somewhere right here on the earth, right? And this house is located in San Diego, right? But now because so many people discover. This 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 um this thing right about that house that he wrecked it and he deceived all these people to give him money so he could make a house for them right but in reality he was living there uh, he was living there and he with a nice Cadillac 16 valve Cadillac or more than that 24 valve I don't know but anyways you see this house now the watchtower. They sold it. They got rid of the, the evidence because this guy was saying that it's for, for these people that was going to come back to life, right? Um, but in reality, the house, he just wanted it for himself. Um, so, and there's evidence on, on online. And if you check YouTube, you check um, Google and all these other uh, sources that there is, you could even go visit that house in San Diego, but you see, the Watchtower, they're not the owners anymore. They sold it to someone, so that way they could get rid of that uh, false um, thing, you see? Like the tomb, uh, uh, Charles Taze Russell, do you know the tomb, a pyramid tomb? Uh, a pyramid uh, tomb? Yeah. They got rid of that evidence too, you know, where, where he was buried, uh, Charles Taze Russell, one of the leaders of Jehovah Witnesses, um, when he died, they made like a pyramid on his tomb, big pyramid, because he used to like pyramids. So a lot of people they're not they're not down with pyramids. They say something to do with gods and and all kinds of Masonic uh, ideas that they say and everything else. So I don't know, but you see. Um, I think um, having having like a even the Bible said said so you know I forgot what Bible verse but they will make like like uh, it says like it, they will make like big tombs for remembrance of such people and and all these other things ah oh, man I forgot what Bible verse if you guys know that Bible verse can you guys quote it on the comment section below or or can you could just tell me um. You see, um, but anyway, so after so much um, exposing that, um, people they, uh, and talking negative about Betzerim and, uh, and Charles Taze Russell, the tomb, the pyramid tomb, you see, they got rid of those things now. Just recently, like, I believe it was last year, they got rid of the pyramid because all that stuff is idolatry and lies and everything else. Um, so they got rid of that. And now they got rid of that house. You see? So I was telling this guy that. And he's saying that my sources are not okay. That, that Satan. That's how they think. Jehovah's Witnesses. I know how they think before and after. Um, we all know that. The ones that that we exit this religion, we know how they think, because we used to think like them before, you see? But we're beyond that now, you see? Um, but they're still stuck on that. 
I told this guy that he's spiritually dead. You see? That, that um, you see, I'm, I told him that a lot of people are waking up and leaving his religion. I was telling my, my buddy, the, my co worker, you see, the guy that works with me. So you see, I try, I try not to bully, bully him in this, in this areas, right? Because, um, anyways, I felt so bad telling them all these things, right? Um, I felt bad because they don't know; they're just indoctrinated by, by the Watchtower. You see how we once were; we were indoctrinated by them, and you see now that we, we know. All these things, right? Um, and they don't. This, uh, how you say, it, rank and file? The rank and file don't know jack anything. They're only programmed to obey the leaders and stuff. And but you see, like, so I was telling them that this, you're dead. You're like spiritually dead. I'm like, and he was saying like that I'm with Satan now. And that Satan got a really hold on me. And I was telling him, I don't think so. You see, the truth, the truth about things, you see, the truth about God, the truth about things, you know, the truth, basically the truth. If you're speaking the truth about something and you got your facts right, and you know you're talking about something, you're talking about whatever issue, whatever whatever right and you know for a fact those things happen and it's true right but on their in their hand it didn't happen because their program not to watch or hear the other side you see a fair hearing on the other side they don't they're not programmed to do that they program to put a block like like how you say like a like a wall you see uh, so I was telling them all that how they pro. I was telling this my coworker how they are, how they're programmed and everything. And I told him that he's under witchcraft because if somebody else controlling him or a religion with fear, control, and threats and all this stuff, that's considered witchcraft. You see, if you don't believe me, like I mentioned before. Go watch that video, uh, Derek Prince. Um, one of his old videos. Watch it, and and it will be revealed to you what it is in a deeper level. You see. Um, so that video is called "Witchcraft in the Skies in the Church," something like that. So, but anyways, you see this guy. I told him that he's messed up. You see. So he's saying that. Jehovah Witnesses don't run from no one. I'm like, it's all over the media. You guys run from people that are, or, 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 how you say it, um, that gives, that, that, that you know, there's people, it's in, in the chapter, in the book of Peter, people that are stand up for their faith, you see? And, and you see, the truth, you know, doesn't run, the truth, um, will stand you see it will, it will stand it won't it won't break like how they break real easy they're turn their back on you real quick you see um about this these things about this confront confronting this um this this things that happen you see you see um so they try to still sweep things under the rug um by getting rid of all that stuff, you see, because they they, they uh, say that there's the truth, they're in the truth, and all this stuff. Um, see, I don't think so because if you're being controlled by eight men and bow down to this eight men, right, and tell you what to do, when to do it, and how to move, and and where where to turn and not to turn that way and all these other things, right? You know they're wrong. You see, um, God made us free. What, what does the Bible say? And the truth will set you free. You see, with no fear, with no fear of, oh, if you walking on eggshells. You see, I don't want to walk 
on eggshells with no one. Not even if I have a wife at work, anything. I don't want to walk on eggshells. I want to be free. Free with peace and love and, and all this stuff, right? Free, you see? That's, that's the truth. The truth will set you free, you see? It will not enslave you like how these people, this religion has enslaved so many people. You see, I don't know, Jonestown, what do you call it, Jonestown? He murdered so many people. I, I don't know what he gave them. But you see, this guy had them all control under his rulership and everything. And look what happened, you see. Um, a lot of people died. And this, some people, some survivors that are still talking about that, you see. I was talking to my dad the other day, and I mentioned to him that, right? And he couldn't believe it, so I sent him, I sent him um, some videos, and my dad was like, "Wow!" The, even the videos that were people that were making like videos about Jonestown, I think Jonestown, Jimstown, Jonestown, um, you know, the massacre. This guy poisoned so many people. I don't know what happened. Um, I, I haven't. Um, seen it like with real real detail just the, like the real like like the little bit of the surface the surface of the videos a little bit and that was enough for me um, so anyways so you see they were being controlled by one man you see like how are you gonna control one man controlling a thousand